In the kingdom of Phoenicia, King Agenor ordered his son Cadmus to find the whereabouts of his daughter Europa, who had been kidnapped by Zeus. The latter, shaped as a bull, had kidnapped her. The king stated that Cadmus could only return home if he brought his sister with him. Cadmus and his men went around the world, looking for clues to his sister's whereabouts, but found nothing. He went to Greece and sought help from the Oracle of Delphi. The priestess said that his fate was not to return to his father's kingdom with his sister, but to found one of the most famous cities in Greek mythology. Following the priestess's directions, Cadmus went after a cow, and, where the animal would lie down, he would found a new city. The cow laid down, and Cadmus said that there the glorious city of Thebes would be established. Cadmus ordered the men to go to a spring near a cave to fetch water for the new settlement, but there was a terrible beast inside the cave that attacked and killed Cadmus's envoys. After long waiting for his men to return, Cadmus put on his lion skin cloak and went in search of them. Cadmus was horrified by the gruesome scene he saw. A terrifying dragon had annihilated and torn his men apart. Although he had never encountered such a creature, Cadmus was not afraid and faced the beast to avenge his comrades. Cadmus was almost devoured by the beast when the dragon drove its fangs into the hero's lion cloak. He reacted and drove a spear into the beast's belly, which howled in pain. Cadmus dodged a deadly poisonous blast from the beast. As the creature caught its breath to release another venomous spurt, Cadmus threw another spear at the beast. Cadmus's spear entered the monster's mouth and pinned the creature's head to the trunk of a tree. The dragon died and Cadmus avenged his compatriots. Despite the victory, Cadmus lost all his men to the monster. He was desolate. Athena came up behind him and told him to pull out the dragon's teeth and plant them in the ground. Armed men sprang up in the places where the dragon's teeth had been planted. To Cadmus' surprise, these warriors began to fight fiercely among themselves and a great brotherly bloodbath ensued. Only the five best warriors remained, who knelt before Cadmus, their new king, helping him to build the new city. The gods graced Cadmus. He was offered the hand of the goddess Harmonia, daughter of Ares and Aphrodite. Cadmus and Harmonia gave birth to the legendary Theban royal house, and their descendants made their mark on Greek mythology.